And let me now bring you to the big National Herald case. It's an investigation that's exploded and it's turned political too with regard to the firm that is facing uh, the, the ED charges right now that is linked to the Gandhis. Now here's what has happened. On Tuesday, remember, the probe agency enforcement directorate seized assets worth 751 crore rupees in an investigation against Congress-linked entities, which is the Associated Journals Limited and Young Indian in connection with a money laundering case. During the investigation, the sources telling us they found that there was a conspiracy to acquire properties worth hundreds of crores of rupees of AGL through Young Indian. AGL had received land at a concessional rate for publishing newspapers, closing its operations in 2008 and used the properties for commercial purpose. Now reacting to the development, Congress has lashed out at the government, calling this as simply political vendetta and a motivated step, accusing BJP of taking this step because it's staring at defeat in upcoming assembly elections. Congress has connected this directly to elections uh, of assembly and Lok Sabha polls as well and says that BJP fears defeat, so has targeted them deliberately. So what is this National Herald case and what precisely are the details with regard to that? As the Congress party has got involved, uh, what is the Congress connection? Now the Congress had given 90 crore rupees loan to the Associated Journals at one point. So that is where its involvement had come in. It was Young Indian Limited that is set up in 28, uh, 2010 when AGL had star stopped uh, its operations. Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi hold about 76% stake in the Young Indians Limited and that is why it is the Congress Connect that's coming in here. Now the Congress assigns AGL's 90 crore loan to the Young Indian Limited. So now it's got connected. What happens next? Young Indian Limited takes over AGL in December, this was in 2010, and for <coughs> about 50 lakh rupees. So the concessional rate for the land also was discussed. Young Indian Limited gets control of AGL's assets that are, according to reports, surfacing worth about 2,000 crore rupees. This specific worth itself of the AGL is about 750 crore rupees. The takeover, allegedly without consent of AGL shareholders, the original AGL shareholders did not have the consent given when the takeover happened, which of course had Congress-linked entities as well. Munish Pandey is now joining me. Munish closely tracks uh, the agencies and what's been happening. Munish, uh, this is... Uh, uh, and Amit Bharadwaj... Munish is on the phone line with me. Uh, Munish, go ahead, because this is a big news, and it's as much about what's happening to the AGL, to the Young Indian Limited. One, what is the reason of the probe against it, and how has the Congress link come into it? Well, Pooja, this uh, action by the enforcement directorate certainly have far-reaching political implications, given the election time. The Congress has already realized that this is nothing but political vendetta due to the upcoming elections by the Bharatiya Janata Party. As far as the investigative agency, that is enforcement directorate, is concerned, they started probing the case since last year. There was an ECIR, that is in layman language, you can say an FIR was registered by the enforcement directorate in connection with this case, based on a complaint which was filed by Subramanian Swami in a Delhi court. The Delhi court took the cognizance after which the enforcement directorate got involved and they started uh, investigating this case. Now, ED has alleged that... Uh, Young Indian Private Limited is a company which is associated to Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. They are directors of the company. But this company got hold of uh, AJL, which uh, was a company linked to Congress Party. And it was its responsibility was to publish a newspaper. That is why they were given lands at a very subsidized rate by the government at that point of time. But even after 2008, when the uh, publication of the news, uh, newspaper stopped, the property was still being used. Young Indian took over those property and in layman language, according to enforcement record, we can say, by giving 90 crore rupees, you took over properties more than 1,000 crore rupees at that point of time. ED said that they have questioned multiple people in this case, including Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Mallik Arjun Kharge, Pawan Bansal, DK Shivkumar. Most of these people were questioned by the enforcement record and after getting concrete evidence of money laundering in this case. They have attached assets linked to National Herald and also AGL worth more than 750 crore rupees. Remember, uh, Pooja, when Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi were questioned by the enforcement directive, they denied all the allegations leveled against them by the enforcement directive. But ED says that 
based on the evidence they have taken this action. All right, so Munish Pandey will be tracking the latest on that. Meanwhile, this has become a huge political uh, showdown as well between Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party. But it's not just about one location that uh, currently has been seized by the Enforcement Directorate. We are talking about multiple locations across the country where AGL or Young Indian Limited related properties are currently situated. Where are those uh, places? One is in Delhi. National Herald House in Delhi, in Central Delhi, it's a very reputed location, but that's just one. Even in Lucknow, in Uttar Pradesh, which is the Nehru Bhavan, as it is called, with, of course, connections previously to AJL, to Young Indian Limited, that has also now been seized and facing charges from the ED. There are all the other locations, let's go across to that. In Mumbai, there is the National Herald House, and these are multiple areas, all connected to the same property, but also connected to the Congress Party, who are shareholders in it, and that more than 70 percent. The National Her Herald House in Haryana as well is also facing charges from the Enforcement Directorate. So it's basically uh, all the properties that currently are prominent and they're called bhavans or houses in different locations where different activities and were used for different purposes as well.